I'm going to show you a different method for checking your trailer tongue weight. I have the 4240 in the dump trailer, which is probably about 5,000 pounds, and the dump trailer is about 3,500 pounds. So that'd be a combined weight of about 8,500 pounds. I'm sure you know you can use a bathroom scale to check trailer tongue weight, but that's usually only good for about 300, 350 pounds. Then if you use a 2x4, a brick, and a board, you can use it to check more than that, but that's a little bit of a pain to do. So what I did was I took an old port of power, I installed a T at the pump, and got a pressure gauge. This one's a 5,000 PSI gauge, which is overkill for checking trailer tongue weight. You could probably get by with a 3,000 or a smaller one if you could even find that. But a port of power is capable of generating more than 3,000 PSI, so you don't want to exceed whatever the pressure is on the gauge. You don't want to go over that amount of pressure. Then you need to take this cylinder apart and measure it, the bore diameter. In the case of this one, it's an inch and a quarter bore. You can get a port of power new at a discount tool store with all kinds of attachments for around 90 bucks. Then if you have a 20% off coupon, you can get it for much less, or a 25% off coupon. The T costs about $6, and a gauge is around $30. You can get the tea at any place that sells hydraulic hose probably and they may also have a gauge. I have the trailer sitting here, sitting pretty level. I have the wheels chocked so the thing cannot move. I'm going to put the port of power under the coupler. Alright, now with the port of power under the tongue, I'm going to jack it up. The trailer jack is off the ground and I'm about 650 PSI. So now you go to your cell phone and go to Google and type hydraulic cylinder force calculator and you'll come across a calculator similar, similar to this one. You need to know the piston diameter which is inch and a quarter and 650 PSI And that's about 800 pounds of force. So I have 800 pounds of tongue weight and my load weighs approximately 8,500 pounds so I'm very close to the 10% tongue weight which would be 850 pounds. So if you choose to buy a port of power and install a gauge on it to check your trailer's tongue weight it's going to cost you about $125 to do. There are companies out there that make scales to check your trailer tongue weight but they cost about $130 and they are only good for a certain weight. You have to buy different gauges to change out on them if you want to check a light trailer or a heavier trailer. So if you choose to use a port of power you can also use it for other jobs other than checking your trailer's tongue weight. So thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful please hit the like button and subscribe. And In the comments let me know what you use to check your trailer's tongue weight with.